Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I seriously want to do an easy quilt block because I haven't played on my digital quilt board at the end of the videos like I do in like maybe close to a week and I'm going through withdrawals. <laughs> so I need to make a quilt block. Trouble is, as you can see, I have no clue what I want to do. I figured the best thing is to just start the video and it will come to me. I'm going to turn the camera off and pick out some fabric and we will figure out what we're going to do. We are going to be making some half square triangles. I went with this mottled black. What's another good word for mottled? It's not speckled, but you know what I mean. It's not like solid. And this floral pink. I love pink and black together. I ended up, by accident, cutting 10 inch squares. I was kind of aiming for bigger, but I guess I didn't judge right. <laughs> so I have two 10 inch squares, which is really cool for those of you who like to use layer cakes. If you wanted to make whatever we end up with, you could use one background, you know, all matching solids, and your others could be all different. And I bet you it would make an awesome quilt, but I'm just assuming because we haven't seen what kind of block we're making yet. The plan is we're going to make four half square triangles. We're going to decide which way we want to put those, sew those together, we're going to cut and turn something, and we're going to make a disappearing block. That's what I feel like doing. So let's just start by putting these two together, right sides facing. We're going to sew all the way around with a quarter inch seam allowance. I sewed all the way around, and when I said a quarter inch, that's not set in stone. You do whatever seam allowance you want. I just use the edge of my foot as the guide. Now we will cut diagonally in both directions, and since I don't think my ruler is long enough, I went ahead and pressed both ways, just so I could have my lines to follow. I will press these open. And this is what we have. And now I'm going to decide which way we're going to sew these babies together. We have a lot of options, and I don't want to do all the options here right now. I think when I made these before, I wasn't doing the quilt board after. But that's pretty freaking cool with that nice big black diamond in the center. But let me stop and think for a little bit, and I'll tell you what I decided on. I have decided we are going to make a disappearing pinwheel. Now, I have seen disappearing pinwheels, but usually they make the pinwheel first, and then they cut it like into a thousand different pieces and turn a whole bunch of shit around. I don't want to work that hard. So we are going to sew these together, and we are going to only make two cuts. I'm going to just put these two and sew, these two and sew, I will press them open, and then I'll sew those two little rows together. I will be right back. My points came out horrible. <laughs> so when yours do too, don't feel so bad. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. Now I'm just going to put this here. When we sew these together, though, that horribleness will get lost in the seam allowance. And it'll look better. I'm just sewing this way now. See, that ended up coming out pretty decent. So don't worry if your points don't match. Just keep going and they end up finding their way. <laughs> I am now going to make two cuts. And we are going to do um, like this. I'm just trying to figure out like how deep I want to go. Well, let's see. About how big is this? A little over 12, 12 and a half. Why don't we go... The easiest way to measure is you put your center line on a line on your mat. I'm going to go three and a quarter out on each side of this center line. And that will probably just be about as even as can be. So I'm just going to count one, two, three, and then I will put my ruler down on the quarter. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. My ruler's not long enough. You know what we can do? Just want to show you. Just going to fold this. Have that line in the center, right there and there. Now we'll do three. One, two, three and a quarter. Now my ruler fits. One, two, three and a quarter. Let's open everything back up. And we are just going to turn our outside pieces. 
like this. Ew. I don't know. And then this one also. We're just turning it. I kind of like it. All right. I'm going to sew this here and this here. This is what we have, girls and my few boys. Now, since we only cut and sewed this way, it's going to be a little bit narrower, so I would need to measure, you know, I've got uh, 10, 11 and a half about, so I would have to, you know, trim it on each side this way. You can always leave it taller than wide if you want and just, you know, make your quilt that way. But I really like it. I think it might do for some interesting things on the design board. So I will just go on over and play with that. Do remember that I'm not using any kind of quilting software. It's a very old version of Printmaster that doesn't even exist anymore. I'm sure there are quilting software things that you can buy that you can design a quilt on. And uh, I just can't help you with that because I don't know what there is out there. But I like this. It's like a bow tie and a tuxedo. I don't know. Just like it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss any more easy quilt blocks. I'll be back with more soon. Bye!